What we've seen over the past few years is an increase in the amount of otter cafes that have popped up in Japan. And this otter is actually gnawed off part of its tail. And if that's not a sign of a distressed otter, then I don't know what is. One of the things that you notice here is the stench. It absolutely stinks. Their behavior is wild. They're not like cats and dogs. Without access to water, without access to proper nutrition, and without access to the enrichment that they normally have in the wild environment, it is a life of suffering. But they're a breeder. Breeder, yes. In Indonesia. Mm. And then you buy the otters from Indonesia. Yes. And they send them to Japan. Japan. Any kind of animal they can provide you. Exactly. Yeah. If the price is right. They've been taken away from their mother. Yeah. And now someone is trying to sell them essentially to a complete stranger. He's a buyer. He has exported otters yes, before. He exported not just otter, any animal. <laughs> and you can call me Farah. <laughs> 